Hi everyone, Rabbi Rosen here, wishing you well, not only for this particular Shabbat, but especially as we now approach Pesach, hoping it will be a sweet and wonderful holiday for you as well. I'm aware of more than one Seder that has the potential of being somewhat challenging this year. I call it the Fox News versus MSNBC divide, left versus right. It's a time in which various individuals, sometimes within the same family, find themselves on opposite sides of politics and culture and many things, and yet at the same time will be finding themselves at a Passover Seder. How to move forward given that situation? I think there are two wonderful guides in that regard. It applies to any sense of disagreement or conflict as well, not just for this year. First, there is the very name of the holiday in English. This is a time when we are really invited to pass over the trivial kinds of things, the grudges, the kinds of things that sometimes separate people, but really fundamentally are not all that serious. There is a wisdom in releasing ourselves from holding on to things that really just don't matter and sometimes create a tension and a distance between us. At the same time, there is a very beautiful line that comes at the end of the Haftarah for tomorrow, for Shabbat Hagadol, the great Shabbat that comes before Passover, also a reference to a future time of redemption. We're told that the prophet Elijah will come and reconcile parents with children and children with their parents. The idea being, I think, that when we come together at a Passover gathering, especially at a Seder, it is a time for looking for ties that bind us to each other. It is a time for listening and from learning and for giving ourselves the privilege of being able to truly be together to talk about the kinds of things that matter most in life. What does it mean to be free? What does it mean to go forward towards significant things in life? What truly does it mean to be a part of a Jewish people in the year 2019? and much, much more. If we can pass over the grudges and look for the kinds of things that can unite us, the generations and those who happen to disagree, I think we'll have the potential for a very beautiful and sweet Passover, which is what I wish you. Shabbat Shalom.